These missiles were kind of iconic in the original game. And I feel like the the smoke trail was a lot of that. In this version so far, we don't have those missile trails. And I know I originally said that we didn't need them. A very wise programmer once told me, while not fun, particles plus plus. So let's take a moment to add those missile trails and we'll use Unity's particle system for that. It's a good excuse to throw in a tutorial on Unity's particle system. Here's the prefab for the missile. It's just a sprite with the missile script on it. Let's go ahead and add a smoke trail. So I want the smoke to emit from a particular spot on the missile. So I will just create a, a little location there, a, a sub object. And on that object, I'm going to add a particle system. There we go. Particle system. The first thing that's going to jump right out at you is these fuchsia boxes. We need a spot to put a texture on there. How do we do that? Let's, well, first, let's go find our texture. And there's my cloud. There's my cloud texture. Uh, it's just a regular default texture for now. Let's throw that on to my smoke particle. Where does that go? Let's peruse our parameters here. Renderer has a material spot, but we can't put a cloud directly on there. We need a material. We need a material. So let's create a material. I'll create it right here, I guess. Uh, do, 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 do. Material. And what kind of material do we want? I think we probably want a particle. Standard unlit. Let's do an unlit. Um, and then let's put our texture on there. Where does the texture go? It goes in the albedo slot. So let's see if I can just drag right there. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's put, oh, let's call this the um, smoke material. Let's put that on our particle. We'll just put that right on there. There you go, that's a good start. Uh, but, what about the transparency? The transparency, you know, that's not supposed to look like squares. It's supposed to look like little clouds. Let's fix the transparency on that material. Right here, under rendering mode, we have our options. Um, transparent doesn't do what you'd think it would do. Cutout is real, really nice in some cases, but I want to be able to fade this out. And so I'm going to use the fade option. Um, the edges, though, of the material don't look good. And I noticed that if I just go with Sprite, standard Sprite, uh, that looks a lot better. So I'm just gonna stick with Sprite. What's the next step? I want it to reproduce the effect that I had in the original game. And so, all right, the original game had this smoke puff effect on it. And we can see that it had a timeout of 0.4 seconds and a final color um, of that. Let's, uh, let's reproduce that. We have a timeout of 0.4 seconds. So that's lifetime. And it says start lifetime, but it's lifetime. 0.4 seconds. And we want it to fade out. So that's under color over lifetime. Color over lifetime is a little bit weird. It uh, puts the alpha on the top and the color on the bottom. It took me a took me a bit to figure that out. So we want it to fade to a zero alpha at the end, and at the end, color at the end was zero zero point two zero point four, sort of a bluish kind of a color, and it fades linearly what that's backwards fade from white at the beginning to that bluish color at the end it was 0 0.2.4 there you go so they fade sort of through from white to blue and that's what we had in the original so that's what we'll do here too next up it shouldn't be spreading out like that we don't want it to splatter. We want it to just sort of leave behind. So that I think is under the shape. The shape is emitting in a cone and that won't matter much because 
we want it to emit from right where it's at. And why is it blinking though? I don't remember it blinking. I think that's just because they're stacking up on each other. Emission rate. So that's 10 particles per second. In the original, it probably went at 30 particles per second. Uh, so let's go with that. We should now be ready to try this thing. Let's try it in game. Oh no, the, the particles are emitting, but they're just staying right there in place, stuck to the butt of the rocket. The reason that's happening is that the particle is in local simulation space, which means it, the, the motion of the particle follows whatever the rocket does. We want it to be spawned in the world, simulation space world. Let's check that out. There you go, not bad. I think it's, uh, particle's too big. It's too big. Let's make it, uh, where's the size? Start size, right here, let's make it 0.5. And the other thing I wanna do is, um, in the original, I noticed that I would randomize the angle of each one at spawn time. So let's see if we can find that right here. Start rotation. So start rotation has an option, you can enter an angle, but I don't want that. I want to randomize. So random between zero and 360. There you go. That's, that's pretty much what we had in the original. I want to try a faster emission rate. Let's double that. And I do want to try a size over lifetime where I want them to grow pretty rapidly. Yeah, let's have them grow pretty rapidly and then, uh, and then go. So let's try that. I think I like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. In fact, maybe they grow a little too rapidly. Let's take this one and move it over a little bit. And this one we can move over a little bit like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Hmm. I think they start too small. Start too small. Let's take this and pull it up to about there. There you go. That's gorgeous. That is great. It's, it's nicely improved even from what we had in the original. And it looks like we got some fuchsia shaders on the enemy rocket missiles. Let's do the enemy rockets. Prefab weapons, enemy rocket. Smoke, Enderer. wrong material. Let's put our smoke material on there. And I like that size over lifetime. Let's do that. And about a quarter. And then key, let's put it about like this. Okay, how about that? Let's see the enemy rocket now. Those will turn into rocket guys. Oh, that's super nice. Look at that. Okay. I'm super happy with that. So that's uh, particles for now. Should be a short one. 
I'll throw this into the edit hopper and uh, get this out to you.